Yes, and again, welcome to Mobile Rolling, joined by my uh, devil in disguise, Jimmy Jakes again. How are you, mate? Rocky, episode 11, season yeah. two, uh, getting to the end of season two. But yeah, we've had a bit of fun uh, so far and uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, catching up with Jack Bashara a little bit later on, of course, with the tipping. He's, yep. he's got his chest pumped up. We've got Tiana McMahon, he's going to join us a little excellent. bit later on. Uh, we'll ask about her, what she's done so far. Yeah. Uh, we've also got uh, Mario Borg, yep. who's the president of the uh, Country uh, yeah, Clubs a Association. Discussion with Mario, I reckon. Yeah. Um, also, mate, we've got the claiming final this week. Yes. Um, $17,000, I reckon, is the prize. Uh, fields aren't out as we speak. Um, for me, I think if Solar Sonic gets the... Uh, Outside the front? Yeah, anywhere in the front, he, he leads and probably wins. Yep. Um, if he draws second row, I, I really like the run of Julius Franco last week. I reckon Girardi's really timed that run perfectly to fitness for uh, for the final. For the so final, yeah. I, um, I think if he if he draws well and su uh, Supersonic's at the back, then he's a really good each way chance in that. Yep. So uh, and a good series too. It's been, yeah, uh, I, I've enjoyed it. I, yeah, and I, I think they're doing something similar with the trotters coming up as well. Yeah, uh, and I, I think it's a good idea, and, I, and I, I, it, it sort of inspires the trainers to set their horses for something yeah, special. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, Monday, uh, Strathalbyn didn't stand up. Much yeah. to the disgust of Lachlan Stace. Lockie was looking forward to his first ever full meeting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so he's been cut down there. But Mount Gambier has stood up. So they're starting, uh, as far as the country clubs are concerned, yeah, they're starting their right season uh, Friday. Uh, and uh, Lockie's got the call of the full meeting there on Fantastic. Friday. Yeah, so he'll, he'll be pumped. Yeah. yeah. He'll be uh, nervous as anything, but he'll be pumped. <laughs> You, you'll be that nervous, his bottom lip will be quivering. <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to listening to a few of those. And it does too, I've seen it happen many a time. <laughs> but I, yeah, good luck. I remember when I called my first race at the Barmbra Trots, it was a five horse field. Yeah. And because I was 14, after the race, I thought, how easy is this? Yeah. And three of my mates said, that was shit house. <laughs> <laughs> so... I've gone from thinking I'm Bert Bryant. Hey, you can't keep everyone happy, Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> Silly if you try to. <laughs> Speaking of that, I reckon I called the worst ever I ever called uh, on Friday night at Port Perry. I was useless. But anyway, that's another story. <laughs> Even more so useless. Yeah. But anyway, um, so what else have we got for the A-B? No, that's about but it, that's I reckon, it. mate. We're all, um, looking forward to getting a few of these guests in. I'm, yeah. Particularly Mario. I think if we can get enough time with him to ask a few questions that industry people want to know about, yep. then uh, that'll be good. Okay. All right. All right, we'll uh, go to a break and we will come back with the betting segment with uh, Jack, Rocky and myself. Etchers, with over 30 years combined experience, we endeavour to make your presentation the best it can be. We specialise in all things corporate from your company's major awards through to your club's trophy needs, as well as sports uniforms and equipment. Our giftware range is second to none, which you can view on eBay. All you do is just type in Etches. Etches is proud to be your one-stop shop, making everything a whole lot easier for you. Et Welcome back to Mobile Rolling and it's betting time. Favourite Rocky, section. Rocky, favourite section. Favourite section. It was for you, but not now. Jack, <laughs> Jack Mashara <laughs> is yeah. the leader. Jack. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just sit here, just relax, all right? This is the update. This is where it all matters. This is what counts. Now... Today is our last betting selections, okay? Mm -hmm. Because the winner will be announced on the 12th and final episode of season two. So this is the last chance. Not yet, but uh, <laughs> trophies will be presented next week. <laughs> yes, it'll be organized, trust me. Um, we'll get Max to do it. <laughs> now, after last week, Jack, you had 24 points plus $151. You wanted $20 to win on She's a Shark. She finished eighth, no points, minus $20. But you had $10 each way British General, which was 
a unanimous tip, but we'll go into that shortly, uh, which won beautifully driven by, I had to look whether it was Jeffrey Webster or Brady Webster in the sulky. It was a 10 out of 10 drive. Perfect drive. Yep. Uh, and not just because you tipped it, because it was a perfect drive. Yep. Anyway, on the tape paid $7.40 and $2.30. So you get three points there plus $77 profit from British General. So the update after episode 10, Jack is on 27 points. His bank total is plus $208. Well done, Jack. You've done very well. Rocky, you've yes, gone mate. down in a crumbling heap. A crumbling heap. Uh, total <laughs> points after episode nine, you had 22 points plus $123. Yep. You wanted $20 a win on Glider, who finished sixth. So yep. no points, minus $20. And for whatever reason, you wanted $10 each way on Manly Mac. Finished tenth. I tell you, he flew home and got oh, beaten sixty-two unlucky, meters. Unlucky. <laughs> Zero <laughs> points minus twenty dollars. So you're still on twenty-two points, but yep. your bank total has now gone to plus eighty-three dollars. Muggins, this one. Last week I was nineteen points plus thirty-two dollars. Ultimate one disregarded the Mildura flop. Yep. Went to Port Piri form. Danny Hill and the sulky happened to be right. Very Unfortunately. Good pitch. Only got $4.10. They backed it solid on the tote. But anyway, $20 to win at $4.10. Three yep. points plus $62 profit. British General, $10 each way. seven forty to win. two thirty to place. That hurts you, I know. It, oh, it hurts. Three points uh, for that plus $77 profit. So after episode 10, uh, Muggins here is on 25 points plus $171. So, Jack, you're on 27 plus 208, so you've got a two-point advantage on the points, and you've got a $37 advantage on the dollar. So I've got seven points to make up to knock you off. But you started late. How yeah. can you make up seven? Easy. He doesn't He doesn't get a winner, and I just get two winners there, and bang. That's six. You get the dollars, mate, for the win. Yeah. Are you not with us? Yeah. You're talking points, now you're talking dollars. Uh, you, the rules are it's the like points. Talking to, it's like talking to Max. No, it's oh. not. <laughs> it's like me talking to Max with you, you're not listening. That's right, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. You're speaking to me. So the rules again, let's just reflect yes. on the rules. The yeah. rules are you get three points for first, two points for second, one point for third on your tips. Plus... Bonus points are added for every ten dollar oh, profit. That's right. Oh, that's right. 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 Now he's with us. Yeah. Hey, what about this one? Hey, hey the, the manipulator, yeah, British he's General. He's we all made British General the each way special. So if you're listening to the show last week, yeah. you should be in front. You have your ten dollars each way. Beautiful. Yeah. This one, the manipulator. Yeah. All right. Says no, no. I, I can't catch him if I've got the same bet. No, that wasn't it at all. It was, oh, it was come purely, on. What's the point in having a tipping competition where everyone picks the same horse? That, well, we don't know we, we, what we've all picked until the show starts. You can have a first emergency like I did, Jack. Uh, you, but you're, you, you're a, sl a good beginner, slow finisher. <laughs> no, he was slow at the start. He was slow at the start, hit the front, and he's gone back again. What about he's galloped. He's galloped in the run. Oh, last year was a tipping no, sensation. <laughs> but there was no pressure on him <laughs> last year. No it's, pressure. It's, he, he just, oh, back yeah. this one, back this one. But now we've got pressure, Jack. History don't repeat itself. <laughs> You've got to come I'm up with the you goods. One day, Jack. Hey? I'm going to build you one day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Now, Jack, I know it's the last season, and I, I have discussed it with you, okay, yeah. and Rocky, but yep. uh, because Rocky's in pain, he's back in last, all right, mm -hmm. We're going to open up and give him the opportunity to to bet anywhere, anywhere. that he wants, anywhere yep. in the world. All right, so we're not concentrating on Globe Derby this Saturday. It yep. could be anywhere. Okay, so you know the rules yep. about that. We've spoken to you. What have you come up with this week? Well, we're going to go to Ballarat tonight. Ballarat trots. Yeah, Ballarat trots yep. tonight. And I've done a little bit of form. I'm not as good with Victorian as I am in the South. Don't worry about the excuses, Jack. No. Um, we're gonna go, we're we've gonna, done this for him. Obviously, we've done it for Rocky, all right? He reckons he's, he's a specialist we're anyway. A yeah. We're going to go to race, race three, number five, Topsy's Delight. Yep. As a special. 
Whisper and Topsy's the light race clear. Of oh, oh, no, then life as we know it, image of stars. But into the straight, Topsy's the light's a big leader. On life as we know it, then oh, oh, no, off the radar from a mile back, running on with image of stars. But it's all Topsy's the light. Topsy's the light's drawn right away, has run them ragged here. Life as we know it's battling on with image of stars, but a big win, Topsy's the light. Mm -hmm. $20 win. Yep. Okay. And we'll go to race four. Yep. At Ballarat as well. Ballarat as well. Yep. Number one, yep. Miss Dangerfield each way. Miss Dangerfield? Yep. Okay. That's what odds $5. are they, Jack? $5, Miss Dangerfield. And what's the other one? $3.60. Okay. Oh, that's good. Well done. All so, right. But that's not being uh, 100%. It's something that I just had to do at the last minute, so um, you'll have to take that on board. Yeah, right. Okay. So you're not as confident with these as, as uh, with the local no, product, no, but no. We're, we're trying to put in a bit of diversity yeah, here. Yeah, we just we put a little rider in there from the start, Jack. Just, yeah. If I don't do too well this week, I told you last week I had an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky, what are you going to do this week? Singapore. Well, where are you going? Singapore. Singapore. No, it's going to be harness racing. I've uh, <laughs> I've just gone on a couple of names. Really, I have no idea on the. Well, form mate, you, of them. you've got to you, you've so got to try one, something with value. The first one is at Menangle Trots. Menangle Trots, yep. Called Drop the Hammer, because that's about what I'm going to do on YouTube, blokes. Drop the Hammer, Amanda Spur, and then came Rompers, Monarchy, Conan Bridge, and Lily Stride gets to the outside, but is still about 40 metres off this leader. 28 to the split, and Drop the Hammer goes for home. He's dropped the hammer, all right. He's left them lamenting. He's about 15 metres in front of a wall of horses chasing. They're all trained by Joe and Mary Rando, mind you, but it's going to be Darren Hancock's group two, and Drop the Hammer absolutely bolts. Okay. Yeah. Darren Hancock. Yep. Off the stand. It's got three of its last four, so I reckon that'll win. Okay. That's good. So what race is that? Do you know? No. No. That's okay. And the other one is... Um, that, is that your win or... That's my win. $20 win on Drop the Hammer at Menangle. Yep. Yep. And my uh, each way is in the Yarra Valley Cup. Oh, okay. A uh, horse called Code Black, because that's what you'll be saying, Jack, when I blow your letterbox up if you win this competition. <laughs> I don't get my anymore. <laughs> Ten each way. Yep. Amazing. I've actually gone for Code Black as my special. <laughs> <laughs> so you should have stuck with British <laughs> General. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming in on All right, so... So you've studied this with a guts full of beer last night after the cup. After the Melbourne Cup function. Yeah. And, and, and there was a bit of scotch 30. in there too. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a bit of the same <laughs> <laughs> And a, and and a, a coffee. bit of musket. <laughs> <laughs> and a bit of beer. <laughs> uh, so, yes, I've come up with two at Yarra Valley on Thursday. Yep. So my win bet... Because it's going to be favourite virtually. Uh, the Yarra Valley Cup, K Black, twenty dollars to win. For yep. Emma Stewart and Greg Sugars. Um, up against Sicario, who won our South yeah. Australian Cup e earlier this year in January. Maritai's a good chance as well. On the yeah, cup. yeah, just drawn poorly. Yep. I, I think they'll probably get across Sicario. I'm hoping they do. And if they yep. do, then that will help Kay Black, even though there's a sprint lane there at Yarra Valley. Yep. And the other one I'm going, so that's race six, number 10, Code Black, $20 yep. to win. And my each way uh, is race three, number eight, Armchair Drive. Um, it's uh, it's a trotter. Mm -hmm. uh, Craig Demler drives for Phil Chercop. Okay. Uh, and actually is by the Warp Drive, who won our SA Cup, Cup back in 2006. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it's a trotter. Uh, yeah, there's a trotter, yeah. yeah. Uh, for Phil Chercop. He had uh, the Warp Drive to win here, yeah. and J.D. Quinlan uh, won yeah. the SA yeah. Cup. That, so that was way back in 2006. Time gets by, doesn't yeah. it? But I know Phil really well. Not that I've rung him about this one, but um, he, he's a great guy. And this horse has had a couple of runs from a spell. I think it's... I'm hoping it could lob in the top four. I'm hoping there's going to be a, it's off of 20 metres. I'm hoping yeah. there's a couple of gallopers early and he can, Demler can just get him into a nice position. Right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's got a bit of speed. He's not strong, but he's got a bit of speed about him. But so uh, um, there's, a, there's a lot of South Australian 
Flair. Flair in that meeting at Yarra Valley. Yeah. Because Daiquiri is in that same race. Daiquiri won our Trotters Cup yeah, here in South Australia very well. uh, yeah. last year, 2018. Yeah. Uh, but Aussie's still driving, but he's not down as a trainer anymore. And it actually trialled okay in a lead up into this. So it's got some hope each yeah, way yeah. as well. But I'm going with armchair drive number eight. So race three, number eight is my $10 each way. My winner's race six, number 10, code black. So, just reflecting on that again, um, tonight is Ballarat, you said, Jack? Ballarat tonight. Ballarat tonight. Yeah. Race yeah. three, number five, Topsy's Delight is the win bet for Jack. Yeah. And race four, number one, Miss Dangerfield, $10 each, each way. Yeah. Rocky at Menangle, drop the hammer, $20 the win. Yeah. And 10 each way on uh, Code Black in the Yarra Valley Cup. And next week, the trophies will be presented for the champion, of the tipping competition for season two on Mobile Rolling. Anything else, gentlemen, in closing? No, I just think I'm in a little bit of trouble. You're in strife. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's in pain. Rocky's I've been in, in worse corners. Yeah. yeah. Now, you'll, you'll, you'll bounce back. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I think Rocky's You'll down. bounce back. He's down. Yeah, yeah. no more finger bumps for you, Jack. I don't know, where. Jack. No, I don't know no, where. No more finger <laughs> 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 You're gone. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the betting right. segment. And uh, we'll come back and we're going to catch up with Tiana McMahon after the break. United Finance provides a professional, friendly and personalised service, offering competitive consumer lending solutions for whatever your current lifestyle finance requirements may be. We offer secured and unsecured loans for all types of items and occasions, large or small. It might be for a car or motorbike, a boat, a jet ski or caravan, and even horse floats. It might even be for a holiday or wedding. Contact us today, get your pre-approval in place and your mind at ease. Pronto United Finance, putting your personal needs first. Welcome back to Mobile Rolling and Rocky, a very special guest, Tiana yep. McMahon. Tiana, welcome to Mobile Rolling. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, there our pleasure for sure. Now, um, you've been to South Australia before, um, went away and then come back again. So originally, where, where are you from? Victoria. From Victoria? Yeah. yeah. And uh, what age was it that you came here to South Australia? Do you remember? Uh, I think I was nearly 18. Yeah. Yeah. And you were doing two things at the time. You were, you, I think you told me once you were studying for something, plus your studies could be done here in South Australia? Yeah, yeah, so I was studying to be a vet nurse. Okay. Yeah. And have you completed all those studies? Yeah. Yeah, so you're a vet nurse now? Yeah. Okay. And does that help, obviously, look after your horses? Yeah, definitely, especially when you've got horses with bad feet and stuff, that really helps. Okay. Yeah. So tell us about that. What sort of thing with bad feet? What would you do? Um, so, for example, Let's Go there has um, his P1 and P2 joint opens up too much. Okay. So we just, um, or we treat it and a lot of DMSO and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, just helped with little things like that. Okay. Yeah. You've got your little team going pretty well at the minute, so... Yeah, we're pretty happy with yeah. them. We're wrapped. <laughs> 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 Very exciting. Yeah, so where have you got all the horses from? Are they all uh, your own selections or have you had them sent to you? Um, no, we Beach Goddess, I seen her on the internet for sale and um, yeah. I approached one of the owners and said, look, thought she'd do a good job over here and um, yeah, her and Let's Go there was actually up for sale and I happened to message his owner and he said, look, no one really wants to give him a go. So we picked him up from the vets and they said, oh, look, we don't think he's going to race again and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Okay. And, yeah, he's flying at the moment. So what, what was the problem that they said why he wouldn't race? Um, so he's got a really bad bone chip in his back hock. Yep. Um, and yeah, his P1 and P2 joint opens up too much when he fast works. So, okay. Yeah. So, well, you found the, found the answer there. And, and obviously you, you there are assisting Robert Caton yeah. as the, you sort of help each other, but they're trained under, under his name. Yeah. yeah. So where's the association with you and yeah, Robert? Yeah, I was going to say, where, is, where does, I hadn't heard of Robert until all of a sudden I seen him as the trainer of horses that you drive. That's um, So he used to work for Mark Peace and Lisa Miles back home. Okay. okay. Um, and then we sort of started dating and stuff and it just sort of went from there. Okay. I always sort of worked my own, so yeah. We just so it's a partnership? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Does he treat you well? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Look out, Robert, if you don't, okay? <laughs> Um, now, uh, I want to go back to uh, the first time you came to South Australia, because you drove your first ever winner here in South Australia, didn't you? Uh, and and um, 
Rocky, a lot of Tiana's, uh, the majority of her horses are horses that win at, at big odds yep. and all, all sorts of things like that. Yep. So what was your winner, your first ever winner? Big majority. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a good day for you that day, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And I, I was just as excited for you as what <laughs> you were, I suppose. When you, Lance Holberton. Yeah, because yeah. he had a few trainers. Big majority. Yeah. yeah. But you, you came here, I think you were helping Lance at that time, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I actually absolutely hate a big majority. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the trials, he, I could never get him going. And yeah. then, um, yeah, Lance kept putting me on him and I eventually got there. <laughs> yeah, got used to it. Yeah. Yeah. And you went from hate to love? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I used to ride him around the back track and yeah, after yeah. that, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. And you obviously work out the back at Globe. Yeah. Um, with DK and that sort of crowd. Um, do you watch guys like him to see what he does and just pick up a few things or talk to him? There, he's not a big talker, DK, but you yeah, get a bit out of him. I try to talk to him as much as I can. Mm. Yeah. Um, oh, you're always watching him work and that, but it's sort of, you can't really clock their horses or anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, you're always watching and. You know, from a difference from here to Victoria to jog a lot quicker here. Yeah. And yeah. I actually find it a lot better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Now, when you're in Victoria, you, you did actually uh, work for a, a pretty high-profile stable there as well. Yeah, I worked for Adam Kelly and Gavin Lang. Yeah. Um, I actually before I come the first time, I was working for David Aiken. Okay. So, yeah. Yep. So I worked some good trainers. Yeah. It's been really good. So you picked up some good ideas there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, I couldn't, um, I learnt from really good people, yeah, yeah. so. I yeah. hear that Graham's a very, very good teacher, very quiet old old bloke in his now 80s. Graham, 80s. Lang. Yeah, Graham, But sorry. were you with Graham or not? No, Gavin. Oh, Gavin. Gavin, Gavin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. But you're right in what you're saying. Yeah. 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 Um, but I'm sure Gavin was around a fair bit in uh, Graham's stable anyway. Mm. Yeah. Um, but they're just such a good trotting family, aren't they? Mm. We've had, a, like when you are saying before, we've had a couple come over from from Gavin and, and Graham, and they're just on the phone all the time. Mm. Really good. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, what was the experience like with Gavin and, and Adam, Adam Kelly and Gavin Lee? Yeah, it was it was really good. Um, they had a lot of nice horses at the time too. Mm. So, yeah. um, you just learn what ways, how to work them, and you know, just different different little things to help them in the stable. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was really good. And what made you settle here, Tiana? I love Adelaide. Yeah. I, I love the lifestyle. It's I the people. You love the people, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> House guests. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, settled, yeah. <laughs> um, so Adelaide's the place, yeah. Yeah. So you feel like you're going to stay here pretty um, well most of the time? Yeah, we think so. Yeah. 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 It was sort of hard because we get horses with big red bonuses and stuff, mm. but yeah. we, it's not really that far to travel home. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you easy. have to do it, don't you? The, the big bread bonus is just too good to ignore. Yeah, and well... It, you know, if it's Tamildura or Horsham, it doesn't matter. It's it's worth going. Yeah. So are you horses only or do you work as a, a vet nurse as well? Um, horses only at the moment. Yep. Um, until I, I'm sort of trying to find the right job. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So if you can do both, you will. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Max did tell me something that Tiana mentioned to him quite yeah. a while ago and, and probably uh, it's something that should have happened but we heard um, Gary Crocker mention last week about Paul Cavallaro being a mentor yeah. and this is something that you have really been trying to spread the word around. You feel that young drivers getting involved in the sport should have someone to help them and guide them. So, so that's one of your things as well. Yeah, definitely, especially in the Stewart's room when you've got other experienced drivers are like putting their point across and of course we get nervous and you know, you're know you worrying about what you're you know, what's supposed mm. to say. Yeah. Um, but like little Corey Johnson, for example, a couple of times <laughs> he's been in the Stewart's room and had a, a bit of a hard time in there and mm. it'd be great to have Paul sitting beside him or you know just having someone to go yeah. to yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, I think that'll work really well. It's a fair point. I yeah. mean, we just expect young ones to go in and do it. But, yeah, yeah. It, it can be quite daunting when... I used to go in the steward room all the time, so I got pretty used to it, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, it can be quite daunting when yeah. you're in there against... Uh, and especially if you're in a protest situation, yeah. you know, if you're protesting against you know, someone that's been around a long Absolutely. time, they know how to word things yeah. and all sorts of yeah. things. And yeah, it's a very good point. So well, I think Max had a very friendly discussion with Lance Justice one time in there as well. Did he? Yeah. 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 Just a bit of, how you going? Okay. Yeah. You want to elaborate on that? Well, no. No, because <laughs> no, this is about Tiana, <laughs> <Yeah>. not Max. <laughs> 
Um, so do you know right now, have you kept record of how many winners you've driven? Um, Idea, ballpark? I think I'm just under 30. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. So have you got anything on your bucket list, what you want to tick as far as driving a winner or, or along those lines? Uh, I'm hoping to drive 50 by the end of the season, so it's okay. a big ask. But yeah. That's um, excellent. I'm going to try and get there. We have a nice team at the moment. Yeah. So yeah. Hopefully I can get there. Okay. And... Um, I saw your name on some horses Friday at Mount Gambier. So you're going to the first Mount Gambier meeting? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have yeah. you driven there before? No, I haven't. No, no that would okay. be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Any instructions, mate? From uh, Try advice? to get to the front if you can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can with yeah. Sam's all day break. Yeah. So he's yeah. got to have a hope in those couple of sprint races. Yeah. So he's had a little freshen up, which is normally not good because yeah. looking at his... But, yeah, who knows? You might... Be good if you can get a, a winner at your first ever drive at Mount Gambier. Yeah, fingers yeah. crossed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very good. All right, well, that's about it, Tiana. We'll uh, wish you the best of luck and keep yeah, driving great winners. To see you going well. Let's hope you get the 50. Yeah, thank you. Good, good on you. Yeah. All right, there's Tiana McMahon, uh, one of the young drivers here in South Australia. We'll come back with more after the break. Mickey Thompson, Maxis, Mitchell. So come down and see me at Tire Power Chelsea. And welcome back to Mobile Rolling. Uh, great interview with Tiana McMahon, Jimmy, and now we're joined by the uh, Grand Master of Country Clubs, Mario Borg. Good morning, gentlemen. How uh, are you? I'm great good, to be mate. back again. Mate, Thank we'll you. go straight to the top, eh? Why not? Um, anything to report regarding board structure, uh, government names being considered, all that sort of stuff? For well, the... we are interviewing at the moment. Yep. Um, we've done some interviews. Uh, we haven't decided. When you say we, who's we? Well, myself, uh, Anne Moday, she's on the on the selective committee, and then there's Amanda Vanstone, right? Um, Andrea Slattery, okay, and John Baker. They're the government officials. Yep. And we've basically been doing interviews um, at the moment. Uh, we haven't done any selectives yet, so we're Can just looking. Can you tell us how many to... nominations for the board? Uh, there was. 27 applicants altogether. So we're going through <coughs> that for the finance part and the um, one of the chairs. Yep. So we're just going through those at the moment. So there's 27 all up. That and and this time round, I mean, boards traditionally, Jimmy, have always been, we need an accountant, we need a marketing <coughs> yes. expert, we need a lawyer. Um, and if you know which end the bum is on a horse, that's great too. Um, but this time round, are we trying to get people that actually know the industry as well, or we're still going down the same path of qualifications? It's hard to say, because um, there's a wide range of people with quite a lot of diverse qualifications, and they are very good at what they do. So um, regardless, in my opinion, that if you're qualified in the horse industry or not, if you're suitable for the job, well, I think that's how it would go. But um, we are looking at a wide range of people. So okay. we, we haven't selected on what we're going, where we're going yet. Okay. Can you tell us how the, the voting process works with all these people on the panel? Is, is it majority rules or, or how does it... Well, or, or... basically it will be a majority rules. <coughs> there's, um, altogether there's uh, five of us. Yeah. So, um, and one chair, we'll chair it. And then we'll go through all the applicants. We'll do interviews and then we'll... We'll select who's the best and then we'll go from there. Okay. Then we'll go to the next step. So what time frame are we looking at here, mate? Well, I, I, I think uh, we are in, in need for one board member, which is a finance person, so that will probably move pretty quick. Um, but the other two positions that are, are come available as well, I don't think there's too much rush in who we get there. Yeah. Um, we just need to do this properly the first time and then go from there. Which so. Getting back to my other question, like you said there's five on the panel yep. to, to select. Let's say four say, yeah, I think this person's the right one, but the other one is adamant and says, no, I don't think that is. How, how do you work around that? Well, we, we need to, like with working, um, put it this way, working alongside Amanda Vanstone has been uh, a, a wonderful experience because she's pretty um, hard hitting and she's right to the point. And if there is something on a person that you may or may not like, she'll want you to, or not want you, but she'll ask you to explain it. Yep. And then she'll look at what you've just explained and say, yeah, but does that become what you're looking for? And um, then you'll 
you'll go through it and you go, well, maybe I was wrong. Yeah. Um, mm. Is we there was a couple there that we thought were pretty hard hitting with, but once we went through it and worked it all out, it was quite yeah. Well, yeah. Hang on, we are we are needing to look at this direction, not that direction. Okay. So. Okay. So even the chairman's position, Gary Crocker's position, is that a process that you need to go through as everything, well? Everything, everything. He has to go through the same process and apply for the job and go through the interview So is it, is it a part where he just goes through as uh, wanting to get on the board and then... The well, it depends on what he's applied for. Okay, so yeah. there is that position yeah, well, specific that chairman of yeah, the board got, is, is not just a board yeah, member. There's three positions and whatever one you've applied for. So there's a finance and then there's a... Uh, independent and then there's the chair so then right. we work that out so okay. you go through your three steps yep okay so this um this is part of your role obviously as uh, president yeah. of the uh, south australian um country Clubs association. association yep all right so um what what are some of the other things that you do as president what, what what's your role well i try to do i don't only just look at the, the country side of things, the country tracks and that. That's our main focus is our side of the company, which is country racing and that. And it's been a bit disappointing lately that a couple of meetings have fallen over. Yeah. But the horse numbers and that are pretty, not much you can do about that at the mm. moment. But <clears throat> also looking at um, how clubs can work together and, and getting to galvanise and work together and sit around the table and, and get good conversation going, get good ideas flowing and also I bring to the table what participants, I try to integrate as much as I can with the participants yep. to make sure that um, I'm getting the correct information that I can take back to our, our meetings and, yeah. and even to HRSA when I meet up with them and say, you know, this is what I'm getting from the participants. Yep. We need to kind of go this way or look at this and, and go from there. So it's, it's, a, it's a big, diverse range of stuff that yeah. I look at. So. so with your meetings that you hold, yeah. so you get a representative from each country club that comes to the meeting yep. with you? Yeah, we get we get usually, it depends. Some Each club will probably bring about two representatives, okay. but we try to get um, committee members, we try to get as many as we can co to come to these meetings um, to get the younger the younger generation involved in it more so they can see the day-to-day -day running of clubs and what processes we go through and what we discuss and what's the agendas so that way they can start getting themselves involved because there's a lot more that needs to be done yep. and it's it's we're all getting older yeah. and some people just can't <coughs> don't or can't do it anymore so we need to the younger people to step up yeah, and start yeah. having that involvement mate over the last two months i've been pretty heavily involved with gola races yep um now it's been an absolute breath of fresh air for me to talk to the CEO of Strathalban, uh, Gawler Races. Um, then we went to Mount Gambier. Uh, we've spoken to the Port Lincoln um, CEO and um, Murray Bridge, John Buharger as well. They're a breath of fresh air because they're all now working together. They want their CUPS meetings to be absolute, not just successful, but roaring successes to match Balaclava. Yep. And Balaclava are now starting to swing in because yep. they realise this is not working well. So to me, that's where harness racing is. There's no egos there. Um, they were all at um, the Gawler Races Cup Carnival. Yep. Every CEO from yep. every, co every uh, club every was track, there. Yeah. Yep. Um, can you see a utopia for harness racing or, or is there always going to be these hand grenades dropped from above? Well, and, and I'm, I'm hoping not. Um, I'm hoping that we can... Um, and, and one of the, the a lot of the um, one of the questions I do ask to any board person that may or may not come on, or even the board that is existing now, that we need to make the board more visible to the yeah. to the participants. They need to go and they need to be more visible to these major events, and and all all clubs should try and at least send one person there to basically. Mm show that you're present from your club and that we're all, all together in this because once you start getting a lot of um, hang grenades and fractions and, and cracks, it just, it just innuendos start happening and, and mm. stuff like that. And that's one thing I don't like to see. Um, I don't like to see that kind of stuff happen because it just becomes, it's just like a cancer. It just becomes yeah. bad. And yep. it, yeah. yeah. But that's been there for 20 years. Yeah. So the culture's hard to change. 
So it needs a culture change. I reckon we talk about it a fair bit, but I don't think there's a total honesty from the participants because we'll say we'll rally behind, say, Paul Cab and Danny Hill yep. when they had their yep. uh, very poor accident. We felt sorry for them, but we didn't really help. And, and what I see is that we're self-indulgent in harness racing. We don't appreciate everybody else's successes. Correct. We don't appreciate the work that goes in. It's a real dog eat dog mentality, it's which, a jealousy I, thing, really. which, yeah, which I don't see in thoroughbreds. Now they but, work hard. Yep. So instead of talking about it, we, it bloody has to be fixed. We can't. Well, I've only noticed that kind of uh, that kind of happening since I moved to SA. Yeah. Um, when I grew up in Victoria racing, it didn't matter who it was, um, Gavin Lang, yep. uh, Vin Knight, anybody, you can go up to them and talk to them and you'd get a you'd get a horse from them and they were there at your door telling you, look, this is how I had it going, blah, yep. blah, blah, try this and try that. If you had an issue with a horse in the run, they'd come up to you after the race and say, you might try on a try pull its hobbles in or driving. Like I remember once when I was, I was a lot, as a junior driver, I knew I had done something, <coughs> excuse me, did, did something in a race and I was sitting in the driver's room a bit down and Vinny came up to me and he goes, why are you so down? I said, well, I stuffed up. He goes, but do you know you stuffed up? And he, I said, yes. And he goes, well, that's all you need to know because mm. yeah. you won't do it again. Yeah. And the, we don't get that here. We, no, we, we don't. That, that culture is so different. And I only really noticed that kind of culture when I came to here that it was, it was so rive. It was like, Phew. yeah. Jealous mm. is, yeah, yeah mm. not, 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 not a great culture yeah. and it needs to change. Yeah. Well, mate, we could talk for an Ever. hour with you about this sort of stuff. Um, when Max gets season three up and running, mate, we'll definitely get you back in and have another chat. But yeah. um, we're out of time, unfortunately, Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so thanks for coming in, mate. And, thanks for uh, having me. We'll be back after the break. Thank you. All detail types of work, including two-pack paint finishes, solid timber, stonework, stainless steel, glass and upholstery. Please contact us on phone 84471400. Welcome back to Mobile Rolling and the end of uh, episode 11 here yep. at the British Working Men's Club. Uh, yes. It's a good little location here, Rocky, for us, and a lot right. of history here that was spoken about. And uh, yeah, we looked after last really week good. about why people came here as well. And the horse won. British yeah. General. It did. Jack said British General. So the people listening, watching, mm. should have had something each way on uh, British General. They should have. Because the show from the Seven British bucks. Working Men's Club. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know that's painful for you, isn't it? I, I just think it's um, bordering on uh, collusion. Collusion? Yeah. You're the one that bailed out. I was we, just doing the team uh, thing and saying we can't. No, no, no. We pick what we don't tell each yeah, other what we pick. Going over this no, thing, okay, all right. Pretty agitating, really. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got nothing else to add to this. All right, well, show, that, that's it. We next week, Trophies. the twelfth and final episode of season two. Uh, who knows what we're going to cop next week? Beasley's got a, 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 and that's all the Beasley family got a glimmer well, in their I eye. I just wanted to say that I think Mary and Lee have done a fantastic yes. job, and and they're really nice people, just in case they've got something up their sleeve next week. I think they're beautiful, terrific. <laughs> we'll wear what the other bozo tries to bring into us because we've got him covered. That's Max you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it for uh, episode 11, season two. We'll be back next week with the 12th and final episode, mm -hmm. and we will announce the champion of the betting competition. That's it for Mobile Rolling.